Hey guys, you are watching the full review of Lava Iris 406Q and this is Saurabh Nayar from All About Technologies. So let's start with the review and I'll be including every possible detail as well as questions which were asked by you guys from three days and also things I like and don't like about the device. So everything will be included in this review and let's start with the review. Let's talk about the build quality of the device and the device is pretty well built not that bad for this price and it is quite thick I would say and but feels premium and is lightweight on the front we have this VGA front facing camera and earpiece as well as speaker at the same place and some sensors on the top we have this three touch capacitive button at the bottom and this four inch WVGA resolution display which is okay on the left side of the device you have nothing and on the right side you have this power to lock and unlock button and volume rockers and the buttons are good enough and quite good at the bottom we have this mic and this is the only mic present on the phone no secondary mic and here we have the micro USB and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack at the back we have this 5 megapixel fixed focus camera with an LED flash you have this iris 406q and lava logo present over here and no speakers present so that was the physical overview let's move ahead the back cover of this device is pretty loose and it is a bit difficult to remove this back cover and it feels as if the back cover is very loose even though you fix it properly it will feel like it is a bit loose when you hold the device in your hand talking about the UI swipe to the left you can go to the camera and swipe to the right you can add widgets over here and from the lock screen you can go to the camera directly from here and you can also go to the phone dialer and messaging so that's great and if you hold like this you can also change the wallpaper you can add live wallpapers and themes can also be changed from here and these are some theme settings which you can use so a lot of customization done by lava let's go into settings and let's go into apps the apps are and games are not movable to external SD card and which is, uh, which is a bit disappointment for some people who are gamers especially because uh, you won't be able to install one or uh, more than one game high-end game on this device and that would be a problem situation if we go into the display the auto rotation settings are missing and you also need to select this to vivid because the colors look uh, oversaturated if you are on standard mode so it is better to keep on vivid and that's about it from the settings section let's move ahead and here you can see in phone dialer there is no customization it is pretty stockish and it is all same only the colors are being changed and also the messaging app is almost the stock android app and no smileys also over there so that was ui of this device the three touch capacitive buttons are also problematic sometimes because uh, they don't respond so i guess there is uh, they are too tiny so that is a bit of problem so you need to be very precise while clicking on that and the earpiece and the speaker is at the same place and call quality is very decent not that great and let's move to camera applications to see the camera performance and sorry camera application let's move so from here you can turn on your front facing camera and from here you can select the modes or shots what you want to take zero shutter mode panorama mode hdr mode and anti-shake mode and here are some settings resolution settings and stuff white balance and, and face detection all these settings can be changed here are some effects also given so the camera UI is pretty basic you can turn video mode from there on and picture quality is also decent for this price 
as autofocus is uh, missing so the text in the pictures won't be looking that good and would be a bit blurry also pictures taken indoor are quite disappointing because when you zoom a lot you can see that it is quite blur and grainy and you won't like it so don't expect too much from this camera if you talk about the video playback on this device there is a pre-installed video or so you can see and you can also listen to the speaker volume Green angles are really bad you can see so that was you video playback and let's talk about gaming and benchmarks on this device gaming is also really good on this device for this price you can play asphalt 8 and some high-end games on medium graphic mode and I have made a separate video on this and for that the link will be in the description and you can watch them and see the gaming performance on this device the gamers won't be disappointed at this performance at all Also the benchmarks had scored well on this device and also the benchmark review is available so you can watch it and the scores were up to the mark for this price so see the link in the description. If we talk about the question you guys were asking me the question which was asked for a lot of time was the device getting heated up the device doesn't really get heated up if you play for around 25 to 30 minutes as I played yesterday and I was not able to see any heating up from the back side and the back side cover is a bit loose the screen is really good for this price I have never seen such a good screen for this price at least for 7000 rupees and people were talking about Android 4.4 update and they were unable to install and even I was unable to install I am still running on Android 4.3 and the update is also removed by lava so they might come with a new update soon so wait for that and these three touch capacitive buttons are a bit problematic sometimes when you like to go back or you need to uh, when you close the applications and also OTG is not supported on this device I tried uh, connecting a pen drive but it was not supported so that was it. Thank you guys for watching. Do hit the subscribe and like button below and also read my full review on aatechnology.in. Thank you guys for watching.